la yuca. Esto no es de llevarlo al molito, porque el pan es Happy Friday, guys. Good evening, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I hope you're having a very good uh, Friday. So TGIF. And uh, hi, Ricardo. I'm doing fine. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, Helen, good afternoon. Uh, good evening. Hi, teacher. Oh, my good evening. God. So good afternoon, good teacher. Good evening, guys. How are you doing? Gabby, good evening. Judy, hello. Great to see you. Hello. No, guys, but siento que es tarde todavía. So. <laughs> um, uh, probably because eh, no quiero que se termine viernes. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> guys, ¿qué tal estuvo su día? How was your Friday? Did you have a good one? Too much work or not much? De listos casi para las vacaciones, guys. Are you feeling uh, ready for that? No, pa' qué chum. 
No vacation. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about it. Guys. Or three, three days. Ah, no, pero three days is enough, you know. Um, so, algunos, eh, pues, trabajamos en anyways, but. Solo three days vacation. No, pero eso es suficiente, you no, know, para descansar un poco, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Okay, so thank you so much, guys. Uh, por unirse un día más. So, like, thank you for joining one more day. Estamos en nuestra sesión número 23. Nos falta pretty much just two more sessions and we'll be finishing uh, the module, right? Um, let me see. Creo que veo a couple more. Kenny, good evening. Ruben, good evening. Thank you guys for joining. Arnoldo, no sé si va a estar con nosotros. What are you working? Belen, good evening. Thank you for joining as well. Um, a second. Oh, okay. Okay, Belen, espero que su trabajo esté bien, no worries. All right, guys. Uh, so, thank you. I know, I know. All right, guys. Um, so, vamos a, a iniciar today's um, session, uh, like completing one little exercise here. Uh, guys, no sé si logran ver la foto. I hope you can. And this one is related to different, like, spotting the differences, let's say. So um, I want you to compare the two pictures. I want you to take a look at the pictures and I want you to tell us uh, the differences. Uh, it says here, there are six differences between these pictures. Can you find them all? Which kitchen do you think it's safer? Uh, guys, can you help us spot the six differences in the pictures? Yes. <clears throat> The iron. Okay, what's wrong with the iron? Carter. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so the iron. There are iron in each of the pictures. So uh, this one, but in the other picture, if you take a look, it's in a different position. But yes. Um, okay, the iron. What else, guys? Hi, Mauricio. Good evening. The clean. Good evening, teacher. Uh, the clean? The coffee tea, teacher. The coffee tea. Give me one second. Oh, okay. So, tea. Okay, it's not there. All right. What else? Um, the oh, bowl, bag. too. The bowl, too. Okay. So, the, the bag is not there. there. Dog. Uh, uh, no, look, I, the, sandwich? The, the bowl is the sandwich. The sandwich. Mm, what is wrong with the sandwich? Kill the knife. Children. Knife. The knife is out. Mm, but I think the sandwich is there, right? Yeah. Um, what would be the difference? The I don't know. Knife. knife. Oh, the knife, okay. Knife, okay. We have four, we are missing two more. The clean products don't, don't are there. Oh, somebody said clean, but I didn't get that. Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, so clean yeah. products. Mm -hmm. We Con are missing. thing whole. We are missing one more, guys. So there are six differences. We have five so far. So you and tiny supper. The bowl is nearby to the coffee. The bowl. No, it's there. Okay. Wait. Yes, you are right. There is not a bowl there. I think there are more differences because I see more. Guys, do you see any difference here in the picture? Yes. I see more. What else do you see? Uh, the expression of the grandmother, the expression. The expression. Like her, her face. Oh, yeah. So her facial expression. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Enrique, what was that? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm 
Enrique bueno, mentioned something else. Bueno, bueno. Oh, window. What is wrong with the window? Diferencia. Hay three. Three. Y en una hay two. Mm, where? Where is the other window? Stop. The stop. 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 It's different. Different position. Okay, yeah, so this is in a different position. Yeah, you're right. Uh, do we have anything else? Those are the ones, right? Okay, the guys. Pants oh. Behind the, no sé, de la, de la plancha. Dos tables. The pants. Tables. Oh, under. Yeah. Los tablos. Okay, so it is under. Okay, so there is a pair of pants yeah. under the iron, and here they are not there. Okay, okay, guys. Uh, so next question: Which of the uh, which of the two kitchen look a little safer? So, ¿cuál es un poco más? Uh, I don't know. Segura. Which is a little safer? The second. The second. The second. Do you agree on that? Uh, imagine, I, I don't know, but I just see this and I get a mental collapse, you know? <laughs> so yeah, probably the second looks a little um, safer, right? Imagine guys, I think somebody mentioned this yesterday, alguien ala, like somebody uh, pulls the jeans or the pants and that's going to be a serious burn or the, like the pot, um, the, the, the boiling pot that we have there. So probably that is a little safer. Very good job, guys. Sounds really nice. So moving forward, uh, we are going to continue discussing a couple of things here. Um, we are not going to write today, but we are just going to speak a little bit. So um, we have a couple of... Give me a second, creo que se me movió a little bit this one. Okay, it says, why could they be uh, dangerous? And to whom could they be dangerous? And what could someone do to lessen the danger they uh, present or they represent? Guys, here we have a couple of vocabulary. So we have a couple of words um, that represent items we normally have at home, like a hot curling iron, right? Como las risadoras, like a curling iron. A knife, window, gasoline, pool, insecticide. We have uh, toilets, right? A staircase, um, a stool or ladder. Do you know the meaning of ladder? Do you know what a ladder is? Escalera. Very good. Esas deslizables, creo que. Yes, exactly. A staircase, uh, son las que no se mueven, right? Or the, como las, las que van uh, like in circles, the caracol and all those, so we call them a staircase. But the ladder, exactly, it's like si es movible. We have jar tools. Um, so guys, can you tell me a couple of, of tools? ¿Se recuerdan de las herramientas del jardín? Like gardening, jar tools. Uh, el rastrillo, pues no sé cómo se dice. <laughs> okay, guys, no teníamos tarea. Escoba metálica. Creo que se tenían well, donde ya no, no, for so, mm -hmm. no, no teníamos de tarea no, las herramientas. No. 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 Oh, so I'm having a day of work. But guys, les compartí uh, previously un diccionario ilustrable, right? Or ilustrado. And uh, ahí pueden encontrar las herramientas. So you can find the different tools right there. We can use them. So we have, for example, a hammer. We can have a, the the... Oh my God, I forgot rake. the rake. Thank you so much. I forgot in the word. So hammer, rake, shovel. we have shovel, exactly, et cetera, et cetera. So a bathtub, creo que en nuestro, en nuestro ambiente salvadoreño, this is not very common. Uh, not many houses have a bathtub, pero si tenemos pilas, you know? So we do have these water containers. We have barrels. Um, so how do they represent danger? We Rocker. have a bad dog. Si alguien tiene perros, like really bad dogs. Uh, why are they dangerous? And we have a couple of more things. Uh, like, for example, we have 
tall pieces of furniture, swim set or playground when you go to a park and the places where your children can play. Very clean glasses sliding door, especially cuando tienen como gardens, right? Inside gardens. Y están esas um, doors que solo se deslizan, you know, the sliding doors, pero que son crystal, uh, crystal clear. Guys, ¿alguna vez les ha pasado? Has it ever happened to you? ¿Alguna vez se han golpeado con algo de vidrio? Like in your house, in, at the office, like um, you don't even notice. Y era una, una, you know, una door and we didn't really know. So, but why uh, can they be dangerous? Cleaning supplies, leg retention or pond, um, especially if you live close to Ilopancos Lake or if you live very close to Coatepeque's Lake. So why is a lake or a retention pond dangerous? Alguien vive cerca de un lago, guys. Do you live near to a lake? I did not. You don't. Nadie, guys. Nobody lives near a lake. A river? Oh, sounds like nobody. Okay. Um, I live near to the sea. Are you serious? To the ocean? Yes. Where do you live? Acajutla. Oh, sí. you live in Acajutla. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's amazing. You live in Francisco. Oh, but wait. Francisco <laughs> lives in Rancho. Francisco lives in Acajutla too, right? Yes, but uh -huh. I don't know it. Yeah, don't I don't know. Okay. Okay. Hi, Rafael. <laughs> okay, Andrea, um, good evening, guys. But in fact, we have oh. excellent beaches. There are beautiful uh, beaches. Neighbors. Oh, nice. Nice. I need to go to Alcajutla, but like in two or three weeks. I'll see you there. <laughs> okay. okay. I so, Oh, well, that's not like a retention pond. No es exactamente como un lago, right? A pond is that one, guys. Como agua retenida, but no agua mala. Um, but that would be considered a beach. But still, what is the danger, right? Then we have loose carpet. Uh, veíamos esa um, palabra before. Bo Volcana, teacher. Ah, Will volcano be? too. No, that's volcana. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, I heard volcano. <laughs> I thought you meant volcano. Okay. So I don't ¿Cómo know. Se dice eso, teacher? Yes, I'm investigating now. Give me one second. Uh, what is a volcano first? Ah, uh, donde el, el río se encuentra con el mar. Hay un gran caos, es bastante retenido. Volcana. Okay, so I don't know. Give me one Ay, second. Because... Give me one second because. Oh, una desembocadura, right? Yes. That is called a river mouth. So that is a river mouth. River mouth. Okay, there you go. So, oh, okay. So you got a river mouth. Um, the next thing that we have is loose carpet or a slippery tiled uh, floor. Yesterday, veíamos esa palabra slippery. Guys, do you remember what a slippery is? Slippery? Alguien se recuerda, guys? Do you remember? Resbaloso. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then we have loose, right? Um, so something that is not tight. Algo que está como no fijo or the, que se, está suelto. So loose carpet on a slippery like, tile uh, floor. Then like the have, rocks in the river. Sorry? Like the rocks in the river. Like the, they can be a slippery too. Yeah, well, but this scenario is related to your houses. Probablemente nuestras casas no tengan, no es como muy común que les pongamos a uh, carpets. Um, uh, how do you call that? Um, alfombra. So we don't normally put carpets on our houses, but si hubiesen, you know, like loose carpets on the floor, 
es bien común que en las oficinas sí las, las llenan de carpets, you know, um, what is the danger, right? Uh, glass table or sharp edge table. This is very important. So we have this word that is sharp edge. Uh, so um, some, not only tables, sino que algunas partes de nuestra casa son sharp edge. So tiene como las puntas, right? Demasiado pronunciadas. O las mesas no son redondas, sino que tienen, terminan en puntitas. So that is sharp page, como el filo, right? So glass table or sharp page table. ¿Cuál sería el riesgo? Um, what can happen if in your house you have a sharp page table? Um, so in you my house, exactly. In my house, for example, I have like a breakfast table, let's say. Uh, and it's sharp page. Y cabal termina como en puntita. And it's super sharp. Es bien filosa. And it can be dangerous. Uh, luckily, in my house, no hay niños. But still, guys, yo me golpeo a cada rato. So I get bruises all the time because I'm just passing and I'm careless. And the last one we have is a hair dryer. So, um, ¿alguna vez han tenido un accidente con una secadora? Have you ever had an accident with a hair dryer? or probably a, a, a curling iron or anything. So guys, I want you to just discuss, no escriban nada, please don't write anything, but just tell us. Oh, I'm sorry, Gabby, I hope you recover soon. I just want you to discuss with your classmate cuáles son los riesgos uh, of some of these things. Algunos ya los vimos ayer, so you're good. But probably, alguno de estos vocabularios si puede ser nuevo. Guys, I'm going to send you to groups. Please, don't make more photos so you can take a screenshot. Discuss them. No escriban nada. Again, just vocabulary que pueda ser nuevo. Escribanlo, please. Write it down. Let's go, everybody. We have five minutes. Go, go, go. Good evening, teacher. Hello, I guess that's Francisco. Yes, <laughs> hi Francisco, how are you? I am fine, teacher, and you? I'm good, I'm good. No pupusas today? No, today in sopa de frijoles, pero la sopa. <laughs> oh, nice, no, but that sounds delicious. Eh, so, thank you for joining, Francisco. Vamos a ir a trabajar ahorita los grupos. So, we are moving to the groups. Eh, okay. Si se fija, here tenemos un par de vocabulary. And what we will do is only um, discutir un poquito de cuál es el riesgo de, estas, de tener esto en la casa, right? Or in the office. So, what is the risk? Okay. En el thank you, teacher. Navi. You're welcome.
sharp pen. So, what do you think about Averaño? Those two tablets. A slipper, a slippery floor. What? What am I think about hot pen? Hot pen. Yes. What happened with the imagine? Talking about the risk, leaving that uh, where? For example, near between the edge or to the edge or a table or to the edge or a kitchen. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit dangerous for the child. Yes. In a special you know, form. <laughs> when we are cooking no, in, 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 across by the side of the of the kitchen and we can pull with with the arm and get burned. Yes. For me, uh, it's dangerous. It's slippery floor. What? El piso resbaloso. Ah, the, the piso resbaloso. Uh, era la slippery, slippery light, a slippery tile floor. Yes. Yes. Eso va junto, ¿verdad? Con lo de la carpeta, lo, lo de la alfombra suelta. Use carpet on the slippery tile floor. But both, both, both are dangerous. Uh -huh. That's correct. But in my case, I, I don't have ceramic tiles. Yes, I, I have this sorry. problem. I don't have it, this problem. But when it's wet? And when it's wet, yes, it's, it's dangerous. But yeah. if, you, if I have a ceramic tiles, could be more I, dangerous too. I, I put some ceramic in the door, in the front door, on the train in my house. And it's supposed not to be a delivery, but uh, uh, almost a week after I installed it, uh, I've been using uh, Gina, <laughs> being Lisa. Y me fui de un solo hasta abajo. Damn. Damn. Bro. Entonces, no, no, no son muy, pues son dos gradas nada más, pero la entrada son como un metro más la gradita, vea. Y acá no es nada. Estaba, no, pero gracias a Dios, pues no me golpeé, solo caí sentado abajo, pero logré poner las manos. Entonces, fue más el susto, pero en el caso de una mujer, por ejemplo, tal vez no tenga el mismo reflejo en el momento de meter la mano y llevarse el susto, pegarse un golpe en la colita, ¿verdad? O caer de cara. But, but that is, that is uh, something real. Even yeah. if you have, even if you have non-slippery uh, tile floor, yeah. it but is slippery. Ajá. When there is a lot of water, yeah. it gets a slippery. Even in the yeah. street, right? Cuando está como verde, when it is kind of greenery, uh, por la lluvia, it gets super slippery. So that can happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very dangerous. Yeah. It in is. The... Guys, when, in la acera, como se dice, when we are I'm driving sorry? under the rain. In la acera, como... The sidewalk. The sidewalk. Mm -hmm. In the sidewalk. It's normally greenly. Um, kitchen utensils on the count on the counter, said Ricardo. Guys, los demás, what do you think? <laughs> I was sentenced uh -huh. here, but no escuchaba las voces of these guys. So, 
Girls. Está bien así, teacher. Yes, me imagino que está hablando de two pieces of furniture, I think. So, yes, that's okay. Guys, uh, do you have like any anything to share here? Why are these things dangerous? Well, I have experience when we did very clean glass is leading door. What happened with the door? I have one in my work and other in a party. In a party, my brother, the, the door. Your brother hit? He broke the, the door. Oh, your brother broke the door. Yes, because he he was wrong and, and he didn't see the, the door. Mm -hmm. um, the door broke, but he was okay. Didn't have not, nothing. Oh, very interesting. So he didn't have like a, like, um, okay. But wait, he, your brother was running. He broke the door, but, yes. but he was okay. Was like in a movie. Uh -huh. Yes. Super yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but, and, and your mother, what say? My mother was worried. But later was angry. I guess. For, for for my brother and for for the door, the money. But, but she, no, no, she no, no, no was angry. What? Angry? No, what's angry? No, angry. No, because was a accident. Oh. Mm. Well. Yes, he he was normal. Maybe I don't remember how many years he had, maybe 15 or oh. 17. No, oh, but he was young. Was an accident. Yes, he was running in the door. It, it just called my attention that your brother was okay. He was not injured. Uh, even after he crashed with the with the yes, door. maybe because he 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 was wearing a how do you say camisa a t-shirt a t-shirt a long t-shirt mm -hmm. oh probably yeah because of the because of the crystals I would say because of the glass um so something could have happened to him okay okay. Yes, either the, the other was with a, a, a partner in the world. Mm -hmm. He too, he, he didn't see, see the, he, he didn't see the, the door. And he was walking, mm -hmm. only walking. And he, he broke the, the door too. No. <laughs> a lot of details about that because was a, a, a gossip. Oh. I, I didn't stay in the moment, but the people say that he, he didn't see the, the door and maybe he was fast, maybe mm -hmm. not running because we are in the office, but he, he for me, he had to to win fast oh. if he broke the 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 door but um and now um we sh we change the door um put the the doors that are how do you say neblinadas um like Neblinadas. <laughs> I'm like trying to get that. Tainted, you mean? No son transparentes. Sino Tainted? Que son como... Como, como las, um, 
polarizadas? Algo como es, algo así, pero no. Las que vienen así como nevadas, las ventanas. Son como nevadas. Como nevado. Y no, cuando uno le pone el aliento a un vidrio y queda así, como blanco. Oh, okay. Sun What is the name? Sun glass. Neblinado. Sun glass. Sun glass. Sun glass. I don't, I don't know. Sun blasting. Let me, let me check that. Yes, sun blasting. Uh, I'm not familiar with those. Sun, oh, sun glass. Oh, like with vinyl. Yes, because it is easiest to, to see. Oh, got it. If the door is, is closed. Okay, sunglass. I didn't know they had a name. So sunglass window. Let me check the name in English. Uh, I don't know what that is. Okay, um, let me investigate if there is a name for that in English. Uh, but but good to know. Uh, I, I didn't think know that that name. is a, a English word, actually. I'm fine though. Sunglass. Sunglass window. Construction. But, but it's incredible that they didn't. Teacher. Okay, sunglass. Yes. Hello. I heard somebody said teacher. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, I think that the word semblas is Spanish, but I'm not sure. But guys, if you can find it, please let us know because I'm not sure. Oh no, it is called bro froze glass. So froze como vidrio templado, but I don't I don't think that's the word. Sun blasting is como una textura arenosa. Teacher, yes. Eh, de hecho es una palabra en inglés porque viene de sun, de arena. Sun blasting, sun blaster. Oh, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, I was looking for sandblast, but that's why it didn't come out. So sandblast window glass. Okay, yeah, I got it. Sandblasting glass, it's called. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you for that. I didn't know that that was like a, a word. Sandblasting window. Okay, yeah, right. I mean, I think that with the fact that it is not exactly clear, uh, super clear, uh, so we can avoid accidents. Oh, I like that. Okay, very interesting. I didn't know. Es es un proceso que hacen que le tiran un chorro de arena a la, al vidrio para que yeah. tenga esa textura. Um, I'm actually checking this, like industrial sandblasting. Pero se ven unos, unos estilos súper geniales, you know, like super cool. Oh. Do they make them here in El Salvador? Yes. I love them. They look super cool. Africa Sun Sunblast. Oh, it's cool. not now it's not the so common because there are an sticker that it um it could get the same texture. Mm, and I guess the sticker is cheaper. Yes, the sticker is cheaper. Uh, yeah, because I have seen vinyls, like a vinyl sticker uh, for world or for, um, for doors, but I didn't know that this was a process. That looks amazing. That looks super cool. Okay, okay. So <laughs> no crystal uh, clear um well doors in this case okay yes prevent the the accidents mm -hmm. <laughs> that's 
sounds all right. Yeah, because I think I have hit like once or twice against a door that is like uh, crystal clear. So yeah, that happens a lot. Guys, in, uh, did you finish with the rest of them? Not yet, teacher. We are discussing. Okay, guys, I'll give you a couple of more minutes and go ahead. Okay, Andrea, no problem. Thank you so much for that. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo se escribe Stumbles? Ahí tengo un chat. Hola. Ahí está en el chat. Ahorita lo reviso. Que primero Dios me cargue la computadora. Ahí está. Ah, está. Ay, si me apago la computadora. Ya la hora de la lista. <risa> Sí, es cierto. That's right. I remember that. Uh, <laughs> hi. Uh, is, it, is it better? ¿Sobrevivió su computadora? Did it survive? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm glad to hear that. And now the push button and wow, it's on you. <laughs> ah, okay. No, but that happens a lot, you know. So even, still, I think that my computer um ya quiere también it's kind of dying <laughs> but anyways okay guys did you finish um discussing these ones a la mitad vamos oh okay okay perfect no worries go ahead please thanks but to a baño bañera sleep or slide no sé deslizarse slippery a slippery. You can a slippery in the bath too. <clears throat> La otra back door. Esa es la bañera. Ah, no. No, el back door. I have a back door. Something. Yeah, how, how do you say mordida? Scratch. Scratch es aruñón. Este, mordida es bite. 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 Sí, bite. Teacher, y ya hay una diferencia entre bite de, de mordida y bite de la medición que se ocupa en la computadora. Porque se escucha igual. Ah, la bite. La manera de escribirse, creo. Let me think. Bite and bite. Actually, it's the same pronunciation. They are homophones. Yeah, son homófonas. So they are homophones. They do have the same pronunciation, but uh, writing is different. Y también mm -hmm. del contexto lo sabemos, right? So with the context, mm -hmm. we know what is the meaning of the word. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you're mm -hmm. right. It's the mm -hmm. same pronunciation. Hay muchas palabras that have the same pronunciation and they can be a little confused. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Altura, piezas. Broken uh, and pieces. Furniture. Old pieces of furniture. Piezas altas de. <laughs> uh, no recuerdo qué es furniture. Furniture are like a uh, tables, chairs, uh, bed, shelf, everything that is made of a uh, wood. So furniture is like. Es muebles de madera. Yes, 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 exactly. So furniture is everything that is made of wood. Hold down.
Yes, they can fall down. Girls, where are you? <laughs> Solo creo que escuché a uh, Tell Me, I think. Uh -huh. I know, I know. It's Friday, guys, so I totally get that. <laughs> Swing said. Swing. No, swing es nada. Ahora que ya no está solita. Delmi se nos quedó callada. Delmi no se quede callada. Delmi. Extrañamos a Que se caerse del columpio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rem exactly. Remember that swing no es nadar. Swim is nadar. Ellos se parecen, but they are different. So swim and swim. swing. Uh -huh. But swinging, as Del mm -hmm. said, that is the columpio. So, like when you go to the park, y ponen a sus niños en el columpio, right? So, in the playground, mm -hmm. in the swing set. So, what are the dangers? Juegos de juegos de colump, colump, columpios. Yes, swing sets son columpios en playground. Es como el parque de juegos. Uh -huh. Andale. Fall down. Okay, so they can fall down. Fly, fly away, fly. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Pueden salir volando. <laughs> con others boys okay yeah they children. hit other hit children me. Mm -hmm. hit me hit me see sí. okay. yeah they can they can hit you right yeah Como recibir un golpe con, con la sillita. Um, so, yesterday vimos un poquito de voz pasiva, ¿se recuerda? Mm -hmm. Que era como, uh, uh, yo fui golpeado, yo fui golpeada, yo fui empujada. ¿Cómo puede, puedo decir, ellos pueden ser golpeados? They was can mm -hmm. okay. They, okay, they mencionó algo Enrique que es el can. So they can, can be, was. be uh, okay, sí sería was, pero en este caso como llevo can, no puedo um, modify el verbo y entonces lo voy a dejar así. So can be y el pasado participio de hit que es el mismo. They can be hit. Ellos pueden ser golpeados. They can be hit. Nice. Glass. ¿Cómo, cómo se dice? muy limpio de puerta deslizador. Uh, I think that Helen had nausea, like no. pueden vomitar or something. Ajá, fue por el, ajá, en el columpio. Ah, that's right. They can vomit. Yes, they can puke. So they can vomit, they can puke. They can get nauseous or dizzy. Se puede marear. They can get dizzy. That's right. Teacher, y, y en este caso de, de very clean glass, con el, colum, con el columpio, por ejemplo, pueden ser golpeados. Yes. Pero ya en este caso pueden golpearse. Uh, it no, says no. very clean glass mm -hmm. sliding door. Exactly. Como cuando tenemos esas mm -hmm. eh, doors. 
pero que son súper transparentes, right? Que no se nota que son transparentes casi. Mm -hmm. So, very clean glass sliding door. So, um, si yo digo, they can be hit, mm -hmm. significa que ellos pueden ser golpeados, as you said. Mm -hmm. Pero si yo digo, ellos se pueden golpear, um, ¿cómo mm -hmm. puedo expresar eso? Vamos a cambiar un poquito la expresión y sería, they can... Bueno, de hecho puedo utilizar they can get hurt. Ellos se pueden lastimar. They can get hurt. Uh -huh. Or they can hit themselves. Como uh -huh. a ellos mismos. Ellos se pueden golpear a ellos mismos. Uh -huh. Or uh -huh. we can use crash. They can crash against the door. Pueden como estrellarse, right? They can crash against the, the, the door. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There are a lot of ways. Please. Cleaning surprise. Cleaning surprise. Cleaning surprise. De anoche. When? Today. Sí, el que me despertó. ¿A qué horas, guys? What time? It's three. Three a.m. In the morning. Yes. yes. No, estaba en el último sueño. You know? No. Oh. Ok. Estuvo bastante fuerte. Really? Yeah. O sea, yo tengo, tengo una alarma, mi perro, ¿verdad? Este, pero hoy no, hoy ni él lo sintió, pero yo sí sentí que me, sentí que me moví, eh, pero no era mi perro, no que era como duermo en la hamaca, este, y sí sentí, vi para abajo y mi perro no, él no estaba cerca de mí. No, ¿cómo puede dormir en hamaca? Guay. Ya, <risa> debo, llevo dos años durmiendo en hamaca. No, seriously, sí, despertaría en el suelo todos los días. <risa> no, yo empecé a dormir en mi hamaca por mi columna. Amanecía con un dolor terrible. Me costaba hasta caminar. Ya fue durmiendo en hamacas. Se me quitó. Wow, ok. Sí, eso una ancianita me dijo. Me dijo... Ay, gordo, me dijo, está jodido, me dormí en la maca, me dijo, dormí unos tres días en la maca y vas a ver, ay, me vas a contarme. Y ya o sea, se quedó tocó. permanente. Ajá, y hasta me tocó invitarla a una gaseosa de dos y medio, porque a mí me invitas una soda y te cae bien. Oh, wow. I mean, normally, uh, because of my back, yo prefiero dormir como um, a nivel de suelo. Like, I just mm -hmm. put like a carpet or, or like a blanket on the floor and I, and I sleep there. Uh, mm -hmm. But, pero en hamaca, uh, creo que me iría pasando. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Se cae varias veces. I, I am super Mm -hmm. That that's another way. Pero, no, but imagine de tanta vuelta y vuelta, no. <laughs> so that's not no, possible. No, no se queda quietecito, fíjese. Por el mismo miedo. De caerse, no. <laughs> Tengo un, mi mi wow. hamaca es súper súper grande. Pues no me acuerdo ni de cuántas varas, pero sí es súper ancha. Así que wow. para donde me mueva quedo en el mismo lugar. Nice. Hasta tiene. Mm -hmm. Wow. But, but, so, no, pero es que el temblor entiendo que sí fue en la zona de Aguachapán, right? Fue mm -hmm. como a cinco kilómetros de mi casa. Oh. Y así se sintió fuerte. Oh, por eso es que ustedes sí oh, lo sintieron. En Cajutla sí se sintió eh, también. Fue el turismo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, mm -hmm. amén. No, pero es que yo raras veces lo siento, so I, I didn't, I didn't know. Hubo otro temblor ahora. Was there another one today? En la mañana. En la mañana. Nueve o diez, creo. De la mañana. Sí. Oh, my God. I don't see the news. Ese sí no, ese sí no lo sentí, pero sí me, el, 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 
el, no, la aplicación en el teléfono, sí. Ese sí fue. ¿De cuánto fue? Eso sí, no me acuerdo. Well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but you know, uh, it is very interesting because estamos acostumbrados probably, pero no estamos listos. We are not no. ready for an earthquake. Al menos, guys, no sé si ustedes ya pensaron en qué van a hacer si llega a temblar for, at night. For that, 4.4. Ah, okay. uh -huh, 4.4. So, and that is the point, you know, que desde el 2001 no tenemos un, un terremoto. So. Fuerte, fuerte. Exactly, ¿no? exactly. So, most likely, uh, ya como que nos toca, you know. <laughs> so, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't happen, but, pero igual es algo inevitable, right? We never know when that's going to happen. Well, Ok, guys. Uh, so, estamos en la sh en class table o ya terminaron? Did you finish with those ones? Feeling surprised. Ahí vamos. Ah, ok. Ok, you are about to finish. Ok, guys. So, I'll see you in the meeting. You have like one more minute. So, go ahead.
Alrighty, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for coming back. So we were talking a little bit about the dangers of a couple of these objects. Uh, and uh, surgió también el tema de uh, what about the hazards or what about the dangers uh, durante, you know, los temblores, los terremotos, things like those. So some guys were uh, mentioned that um, um, han habido temblores, right? There have been a couple of tremors lately. So um, I think that is something very important. Uh, remember that we call tremors o los temblores, right? A lo que es como bien suavecito, un arrullo, you know? <laughs> and we normally call earthquakes. Um, so when we do have like bigger quakes, so cuando ya son mucho mayores a los siete grados. So, um, Guys, I just got a question here because, for example, when we have an earthquake or a tremor, muchos de estos se convierten en hazards and risks, like, for example, carpets, um, glass, uh, tables, or sharp uh, tables, or, um, you know, lakes and things like those. So I have a couple of questions here that are related to that, uh, to those ones, and it's like what you are supposed to do. Um, and if you take a look here, we have, what do you need to do if? Um, guys, what do you need all this? Mm -hmm. Sir, if you cut your finger, sorry, if you cut your finger preparing some food, so what do you need to do? Your finger, your finger preparing food. Count. Yes, yes. so down. you need to come and, down. And what else? Um, go chill, drink a punch, liquid tap. Watching the 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 cut. Okay, so you need to uh wash the cut, wash calm the... down. Yes. Maybe mm -hmm. when when the um, blow doesn't stop, mm -hmm. we have to press. Okay. I I don't know how do you say hacer un torniquete. Um, pressing is okay. Pressing is okay. Because uh, the other one, creo que sería un caso extremo, right? That would be extreme. Mm -hmm. You go to uh, clean the uh, sound that you could your finger with alcohol. Mm, okay, um, with really with alcohol? No, alcohol is better. Uh, agua Water destilada. ¿Cómo se llama? Agua destilada, creo que es. Agua oxigenada, creo que es. Es agua oxigenada. O oh, peroxide. Con peróxido. Peroxide. Yes. Okay. Yes. I would say soap, you know, but okay. Because alcohol hurts a lot, you know. Okay. Yes. But that sounds good. Guys, what about the next one? Um, you fall down and you cannot move a limb. A limb is como una extremidad. So it can be, I don't know, your foot, your arm. So cualquier extremidad. So you fall down and you cannot move your, uh, your limb. What are like some things that you can do? What do you need to do you, if that happens? You don't. You have to keep a lot, keep calm. Okay. Don't get alarmed. Okay. Because this is uh, more dangerous for you if you okay. try to move it. Yeah. All right. So you need call to come down. Ambulance. Call an ambulance. All right. And don't move, right? <laughs> don't move don't at move. all. Exactly. Because you can hurt other parts of your body. If all you right. have clothes, clothes that is press you, mm -hmm. you have to to open. Ah, very nice. Exactly. So if the clothes is pressing you or if they are too tight, como muy apretados, if they are super tight, so you can cut them open. Very nice. Sounds good. Okay. 
Guys, uh, we are going to uh, skip this one. Your child drinks poisonous liquid because I don't think we do have uh, something to do here. But what about this one? The toilet is floating the bathroom. ¿Les ha pasado alguna vez? Has this happened to you guys? The no. toilet is floating? No. Never? But... Nunca no. se les ha inundado el baño. I mean, the, the, the sound. Room. Yes, yes, yes. Sound is no, 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 but, but toilet no necesariamente es sucio, right? So when we say toilet, probably uh, it, something is well, snacking there. Por yeah, yeah. Yes. Por when I was pregnant, I, oh, I had an accident. What happened? With that. And because we 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 was in a new home uh -huh. and the pressure of the water was strong okay then in the night when the press the the water is strong mm -hmm. the bathroom always uh, create the floating in the bathroom in, oh. in the night when i i went to the bathroom mm -hmm. I didn't see because it was in the night and mm -hmm. I, I I didn't turn on the, the light. Okay. And I how do you say sleep slipped? Just sl okay. Yes, but how do you say menos mal? <laughs> Fortunately. Fortunately I I could agarrarme. The grab, alcohol. grab. Yes, I, I grabbed off the wall. Okay. And I don't fall. No. Wow, it sounds dangerous. Could be a, a big accident because I, I was pregnant. Yes, that could have been a, a major accident. Yes. Yeah, yeah fortunately, you know, uh, you were able to grab it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, and, and creo que es lo mismo, right? Instinto de supervivencia. But because that sounds like a, like um, very dangerous, especially in your state at that yes. moment. Yes, instinto de supervivencia. How do you say that? Uh, surviving instinct, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yes, surviving survive instinct for two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You had two responsibilities. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, the toilet, not necessarily, it, it means that it's dirty, right? Um, so that it happened to me once. Um, estaba la llave, you know, like the, the, the flushing system, the flushing one, estaba como flojito, and a lot of water was going into the toilet. So that's why. Okay. Uh, next one, guys. Uh, guys, nadie es cocinero, right? Nobody's chef. Nobody's a cook here. Probably not. not but for the ones who cook, um, if a pan is on fire um, on the stove, what is something that you need to do? What do uh, you do? Heat, uh -huh. heat the, the pan or the kitchen. I don't know, but in MasterChef, I, <laughs> I saw <laughs> okay. that the chef put a, um, what do you say, tapadera? Like a, like a cover? In the pan, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. For, creo que fue para reducir el oxígeno. Uh, okay, so you put the cover on, all right. Ajá, yeah. y con eso apagó la llama. Ah, okay. Oh, so good techniques, you know. <laughs> Normally, yes. I saw some towels. Quickly because, quickly because was in uh, MasterChef Kids. Oh, in Kids. Okay. Yes. Uh, I saw in, in Hell's Kitchen that they put like, like towels. So they put like a lot of towels on the surface. I didn't know that, that word. Guys, what about the rest of you? What do you do when, the, when a pan is on fire? When you're cooking, I, I will take off of the kitchen. You, you take it away. Yeah. Okay, so you take it away. Okay, like como la aleja, right? Outside. Okay. Yeah. okay, so you take it away, la aleja. Okay. 
uh, anything else? Or you turn off the file. Oh, you turn off, exactly. Well, cuando todavía se puede, when you can do it, if it's not a big, big fire, that, that can work. Okay, guys, what about next one? A neighbor's dog is growling at you. Oh, I hate this, you know? Uh, so imagine your neighbor has a dog and the dog is like, you know, it's growling at you. When you're- A dog, a dog. Oh, yes. What do you do? The move. The move. Don't move. Oh, okay, don't move. move. Okay, don't move. Agarrar la piedra imaginaria. No, no, that, I don't think that's no. a good idea. Guys, piedra imaginaria. <laughs> that works. That can get worse. Guys, what it do works. you recommend? It works. Yeah, right? It's worse, yeah, it I think. <laughs> Even if there are uh, one song about it. Yeah. So, guys, yeah. what is, what are your recommendations? Well, what should you do if a dog well, is growling? Well, 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 what is um, it? First time you you don't have to run. Okay. So they, I uh, don't they are care more faster than about it. Okay. Yo creo que está viendo donde Carlos, but Carlos says that you don't need to move, and Felix also mentioned that you, uh, you don't need to move, right? So you need to stay I'm there. Driving. Oh, you're driving. Okay. Driving. Be careful, please. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so don't throw an imaginary stone, definitely. <laughs> so what can you do, guys? Any, any idea, any recommendation for this one? I don't care about it. You don't care? What do you mean? Que no le asusta, por ejemplo. No le hago caso. <laughs> oh, you don't mind. No, but, but oh. imagine that the dog is in front of you and it's growling at you, you know, so, and if you move, the it's dog moves. Call him. It's calling him. Oh, okay, like, the dog, fan. go away. With, so it, yes, with oh. authority. Oh, okay, okay. So yell at the dog with some no. authority. Yes, face to face and, and with authority. Oh. A friend. Okay. Like no, the... Stop. <laughs> oh, okay. La vida le dice. Yeah. No, but no. No, yeah, no, because no, the people no. say that they 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 feel the fear. The... Yes. That's what I have heard. That they um smell you. So I, I'm not sure. Guys, do you have any other yeah, recommendation? No, no, no. Don't stare, no, no, oh, no that's important. Me, okay, fijar la mirada, we call it in English, is stare. No, no, so no. don't stare, que no, no lo vea, no, don't no, stare. No. Bueno, no, no es bueno quedarsele viendo porque lo puede atacar. Really? Oh. Y, y que los perros piensan de que lo está retando, por eso. Mm -hmm. Como pues desafiando. Mover, mm -hmm, no moverse y se va a hacer are algo you, rápido. Are, are you crazy? Ah, me está ladrando, pero no te veo, Ah, okay. Oh, but that's a very good recommendation. So don't stare at the dog because these guys say that um, the, they can attack you. Wow. Okay. Guys, what about next one? Our child falls off a chair and it's bleeding. I think this is important. Um, previously. Definitely go to the hospital. They're previous. Cool. Oh, okay. Go to the hospital, but like in first um, remember that we have the word blood, que es sangre, but bleeding is el verbo, right? The sang Sangrando. El verbo de sangrar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, no de sangrar, but de sangrar. So, <laughs> exactly. So, our child. Try um, to stop the, the bleeding fear. Oh, okay. So, try to stop the bleeding. How? If it is a nosebleed. I don't know because you you don't have to to pay with the the hair the hair. How do you say cabeza? Head. Uh -huh. back because the the blow can go. Puede ir a la garganta. Mm -hmm. It can go into your throat. 
Uh -huh. Well, I, that, that is what I, I remember I from know, first the, aid. The, the nose. Yeah, it's definitely like is difficult uh -huh. because they don't like the, that your touch a lot. Mm -hmm. That is definitely a good point, but as Mauricio said, it's better uh, to take the, the baby right immediately to yes. uh, the hospital or to a health center. With a spurt. Exactly, because we get worried. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, very nice. Sounds really good. And thank you so much for this one. Still, no se hace falta lo de earthquakes, pero lo vamos a ver in a couple of seconds. So here, guys, uh, tenemos a little review of passive voice. El día de ayer revisamos solamente un poquito de passive voice. Um, we use it for describing activities que no sé quién las hizo, but que yo las sufrí, or I was a victim, I received them, etc. So, ayer revisamos past, o el simple past. Today, vamos a eh, introducir en, en la parte de present perfect eh, passive voice, que es lo que está en nuestro material. And the platform, too, uh, has a couple of exercises with this. So, um, Enrique, please, can you be so kind to help us with Joel? And um, mm, mm, let me see. And Judy, please, can you help me with Diego? Okay. Okay, Thank sure. you. Primero es G o como. Yeah, G is okay. G. G. Have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You got be to be kidding. What are those measures? about you are required to wear air protection gloves reflective vest protection belt helmet jacket rubber boots air plots stores dolls in proper location so my goggles and the other stores i left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to pro, 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 prohibit as carried dolls outside the tall room. Thank you so much, guys. All right, sounds really good. So let's take a look at the expressions that we have in Boyle. It says, have my safety goggles been stolen? Uh, your goggles have been taken away. Um, the other tools I left have been taken away. Or the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit, etc., etc. Uh, guys, first of all, let's take a look at this one. Uh, tenemos passive voice. And remember that passive voice es cuando no quiero mencionar quién lo hizo. No quiero eh, responsabilizar a alguien. In this case, it says your goggles have been taken away. No digo quién las tomó. I don't say your boss. I don't say Mauricio. I don't say Felix. Uh, right? Um, so sure. it's only your goggles. Your goggles have been taken away. Como alguien los tomó, but I don't want to say who. Uh, even the question says, have my safety goggles been stolen? No quiero decir quién, right? Oh, um, has Gabby uh, taken my safety goggles? No menciono el nombre de alguien because it's not relevant, because I don't know. Solamente es una pregunta bien general. ¿Alguien los tomó? Have they been stolen? Have been taken away? Right? That is the question we have here. So vamos a practicar a little bit of uh, passive voice in present perfect. Right? No es muy difícil. It is not that difficult. And especially, lo único que tenemos que recordar es la estructura that we are going to use here. So we have have or has. Luego been, eso no va a cambiar. Y luego past participle of the verb that we have right there. Guys, antes de practicar a little bit, uh, let's take a look at the past participle form of verbs. For example, we have take. Took. Y el pasado participio would be 
taken, exactly. I have give, give, gave, and past participle is given, right? Give, gave, and given. I have, for example, send. So I have send, the past is sent, send. Mm -hmm. and the past participle that would be sent. Now, um, algunos verbos no permiten este cambio que vamos a hacer, but esos verbos definitivamente sí lo permiten. So they definitely um, allow it. So give me just a moment. I'm going to write a couple of verbs here. Y ustedes me ayudan con los pasados participios past and past participle of the following verbs. So analyze it, write, analyze. Improve. Okay, guys, I think we can work on these ones. So we have eat, write, analyze, call, check, and improve. So, guys, ayúdenme con el pasado en past participle, please. So we have eat, and the other two are. Eat. Okay, eat, eight. Eaten? No. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so eat, eat, eaten. I have right. So right. El pasado, guys, is? Writing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wrote and written. Yes, yeah, so write, wrote, written. written. Analyze. This has been fascinating. This is easier. Analyzing. Exactly. So this is regular. So lo único que le agrego es ed. That's it. Hold. What about this one? Hold. 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 Holding. Holding. Mm, cambio un poquito. This one uh, changes a little bit uh, because it's irregular. So hold. El pasado is held. And the past participle is held. Remember that hold is como sostener o mantener algo, right? Um, we have check. This is regular. So the past is. Sí. Check. So we have checked. Check it. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Give me one sec. So check and check. Okay, and the last one we have here is improve. So improve, improved, and improved only with ED, and that's it. So, um, que voy a utilizar right now, no el pasado, sino el pasado participio. So I'm going to use all the verbs that I have right here to make sentences. So, hay dos formas de hacerlo, guys. La primera es, lo pueden pensar en español. I don't recommend that. <laughs> okay, so we can try to uh, think it in English. For example, taken. Es como um, algo ha sido tomado, right? I don't know, like my cell phone. Y necesito decir que ha sido tomado, right? O alguien tomó mi Has teléfono. Been. Exactly. This is this is the point. Como no sé quién lo hizo, so voy a utilizar esto. Si les funciona, you can follow this. Have or has, porque hablamos de presente perfecto, right? Luego been, esto no va a cambiar. You are going to always use it. And then you are going to use the past participle of the verb. So si seguimos la estructura, lo van a sentir súper fácil. So I have my cell phone, como alguien tomó mi teléfono. I don't want to say that. So my cell phone have or has has, has been, been lo cambio, taken. and then exactly past participle. Oh, my cell phone has been taken. I want to say, for example, mi teléfono fue robado. Oh, okay, let's take a look. Stolen. Very good. I have steal, stole, stolen. So I want to say my phone was stolen. So my, in this case, my, my phone was stolen, it's okay. Or my phone has been stolen. Mi teléfono ha sido robado, right? Um, I want to say, for example, mi, mi cuenta ha sido ha hackeada. So my account 
Ha sido porque todavía está siendo, está en proceso, right? Has, has been, been hacked. Exactly. So my account has been hacked. My cell phone has been stolen. Puedo hablar de cosas. I can talk about objects here, pero también puedo hablar de mí, right? So, um, quiero decir, por ejemplo, yo he sido robada, right? Me han robado. So, that is about me. Eh, a la vez anterior, alguien me preguntaba la diferencia de stolen and robbed. So, we have steal and we have robbed. So, normalmente cuando hablo, cuando yo voy a utilizar la palabra I, con pasado, eh, perdón, con passive voice, no es muy común que yo diga um, I was stolen. Y les comento por qué. Si digo I was stolen, es como que yo, de, yo, Julie, yo de persona, fui robada, you know, que alguien me robó, etc. So, como esa no es la idea, sino que alguien tomó mis pertenencias, no a mí, no puedo utilizar stolen, voy a utilizar la, el siguiente verbo que es rob in past participle. I was robbed. Or, si quiero utilizar presente perfecto, I have been robbed. He sido robada. I have been robbed. Guys, eh, más o menos, are, are you following me? Are we good? Questions, doubts? I have been robbed. Mm -hmm. Someone... Being en stolen en my phone. Mm, ok, exactly, exactly. Acá hay dos situaciones. Number one, I have been robbed. Ya entendí que alguien le robó. Si yo quiero decirlo o quiero agregar someone, cambia totalmente y vuelve a una oración normal. Someone stole my phone. Someone robbed me, right? Or I was robbed. Esas dos son exactamente lo mismo. I have been robbed. Someone robbed me. Or, si le quieren agregar en este caso, I have been robbed, le quieren decir por quién, quién lo hizo, necesitamos agregarle by. But, a menos que sepan el nombre, I don't suggest uh, to add this one. So, I have been robbed by someone, porque es demasiado general, right? So, um, any, any questions? Doubts? Probably not. Okay, guys, so trabajemos a little bit with the following verbs. So we have these ones. Taken, given, sent, eaten, written, analyzed, held, checked, improved, and stolen. Guys, can you make three sentences, please? No preguntas por el momento, sino sentences. Can you make three sentences using this structure? Using uh, present perfect, passive voice in present perfect, please. I'm going to give you like five minutes, all right? And um, remember, pueden utilizar cualquier objeto. You can use any verb. Esta estructura no va a cambiar. We always use have or has. Luego been y luego past participle of the verbs. Podemos utilizar these ones, you know, para ser un poco más controlado at the moment. Guys, tenemos cinco minutos. Please, las van escribiendo en el chat. Can you leave them in the chat? Um, just a little extra something. Recordemos que um, passive boy significa ha sido, right? Like, for example, la reunión ha tomado lugar. La reunión ha sido pospuesta. El reporte ha sido entregado. Um, la situación ha sido analizada. So, normally, utilizamos ha sido más el pasado participio. Uh, so, let me know, guys. Oh, very good, Enrique. So, my birthday cake has been eaten. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a good one. Three examples, guys.
Very nice, Mauricio. The safety plan has been analyzed. Very good. Okay, so let me take a look at your sentences. Um, so ID says my car has been hit by mail. Oh, my mail has been received. Uh, I have been deceived. Uh, very nice, Iris. They get very good examples. The request has been checked. Okay, my opinion has been analyzed. All right, no more places. All contracts have uh, been given. Okay, Mauricio sounds really good. Solamente quizás le cambiamos. All contracts have. Lo demás super bien. Sounds good. Uh, okay, Margarita, I like your example. They ate my lunch. Uh, pero como no sabemos exactamente quiénes son ellos, entonces esta oración la podemos convertir en voz pasiva. Ahorita no está en voz pasiva pero sí podemos convertirla. So, they ate my lunch. Es como que yo diga, mi almuerzo ha sido comido, devorado, terminado, right? So, I can say my lunch has been eaten. Uh, and that would be, si usted necesita agregarle el by, sería by them. Pero this is not necessary. Uh, this is not truly necessary. But that's a very good example. 
Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Imelda says the challenge has been done. Okay. The meeting has been canceled. The TV has been repaired. Okay, very good. Sounds good. My package has been sent. Very good. Your vacation has been given this week. Your vacation has been given. Your example, Enrique, is super good. Quizás lo cambiaría la palabra given. Uh, creo que se refiere como las vacaciones han sido como aprobadas, probably. Like your vacation has been approved. Han sido aprobadas, probably. Um, but it sounds good. My breakfast has been stolen. All the mails uh, have been sent. Okay. Eh, Morris, eh, solamente mails, como tenemos ese, indica plural. So, cambiamos en vez de has, el have, right? Pero lo demás super bien. Hi. Hello. My brother has been uh, drinking orange juice. Okay. Uh, so, Francisco has not given his gift. Carlos didn't send the order. Uh, Rolly has not eaten his buns. Hi, um, Spam. has written a message to me. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Uh, Delmi, solamente con sus ejemplos. Gramaticalmente están súper geniales, eh, pero ellos están en voz activa. Le comento por qué. La primera dice, my brother has been drinking orange juice. Significa que mi hermano es quien está tomando. Pero en voz pasiva no es importante quién, sino qué, you know. Entonces, si nos fijamos, dice my brother has been drinking orange juice. Yo puedo decir, ¿qué es lo que ha estado tomando, Delmi? I, I drink orange juice. Ok, ok. Entonces puedo comenzar con orange juice porque eso es lo importante en la voz pasiva. You know, ¿qué? El qué, you know. No necesariamente quién. Entonces, orange juice y ahora sí yo puedo seguir esa estructura. Have or has, has, voy a utilizar has, orange juice, has, been, y veo que usted utilizó el verbo drink, drink, drunk, drunk, y eso es todo. So, orange juice has been drunk. El, el jugo de naranja ha sido bebido, ha sido tomado, y usted le puede agregar acá, by my, by my brother. So, but el, el detalle es, su oración está perfecta, está súper bien, pero no, eh, el, el énfasis de la oración está en su hermano. Y en voz pasiva no es importante, sino, es, sino la actividad en sí, ¿no? ¿Qué pasó? Um, it says here, Francisco has not given his gift. Está perfecta, pero... No es voz pasiva todavía porque estamos enfocándonos más en qué es lo que está pasando. Entonces, give me, ¿en quién lo hizo? Give me a moment. Dice Francisco has not given his gift. So, uh, tell me, I got a question for you. ¿El qué es lo que Francisco no ha dado? The gift. Very good. So, the gift. Has mm -hmm. not given. Has not. Given. Ah, pero revisemos. Me falta algo importante But here. Me falta. Has, ah, has not been given. The gift has not been given. Y usted le puede agregar acá by Francisco. So, es como la oración está súper bien, pero debemos de hacerla llegar a voz eh, pasiva here. Voz pasiva significa no me importa quién lo hizo, sino qué hizo, right? Um, here, for example, Carlos didn't send the order. Pero a mí no me interesa, Carlos. Me interesa saber qué pasó. So, Carlos didn't send the order. ¿Qué es lo que no envió Carlos? The, the order has not sent. The order. Revisemos arriba la estructura. Has, has not been sent. Has. Very good. There you go. Exactly. Very nice. The order has not been sent. Todavía no ha sido enviada. No necesito a Carlos. En realidad no, no es importante here. So, pero sí me interesa saber qué pasó. Um, for example, it says here. 
Vamos a ver, esta que dice Margarita has written a message to me. Pero en realidad no me interesa saber quién. Me interesa saber qué ha pasado. So. So drain. ¿Cómo cambiaríamos esto? Javi. A message. A message. Mm -hmm. Y seguimos la estructura de arriba para has hacerlo más fácil. Has been written to me. Si ustedes le quieren decir quién se lo mandó, by Margarita. So, Mar Margarita. <laughs> Margarita. Ok, Margarita. There you Margarita. go. Margarita. But esta parte de acá no es importante porque no quiero saber quién, sino quiero saber exactamente qué es lo que está pasando. Very nice job, tell me. Sounds really, really good. Thank you, teacher. Nice, you're welcome. My exam has been approved, Margarita. Very good. I have been eaten much. Okay. Uh, Judy, your example sounds good. Gramaticalmente estamos super genial, but um, revisamos algo que tiene que ver con el significado here. So, let's take a look at this one. I have been eaten much. Um, por ejemplo, guys, si yo digo, I have been Robbed. Ok, vamos a iniciar con esta. Guys, me dicen que, que entienden por esta. Tell me what you understand by um, when we say this sentence. Oh, ok, voy a cambiarla. Um, if I say this one, for example, I have been fired. Guys, ¿qué entienden por esto? Me despidieron. Ah, a mí, right? No es que yo despedí a alguien, sino que a mí me despidieron. If I say, I have, I have been robbed. Es que yo, yo, yo robé a alguien o alguien me robó algo. A usted. Exactly. So, I have been fired es que a mí me despidieron. I have been robbed, a mí me robaron. Y, pero si yo digo, I have been eaten, eh, gramaticalmente está súper bien. Ahora veamos el significado. ¿Cómo cambiaríamos esta, guys? So, I have been eating much. Cambia un poquito lo que yo quiero decir, because es como, um, como yo he sido comida, right? No es que yo he comido, because yo he comido, lo digo, I have eaten much. Uh, so, I have eaten, por ejemplo, here, I have eaten a lot of pupusas. I have eaten a lot of pupusas. Okay, I have eaten a lot of pupusas. I have eaten a lot of hamburgers. So, si yo quiero cambiar esta a voz pasiva, ya no me interesa mucho el I en este caso, porque no es que yo comí, sino quiero saber qué es lo que he comido. So, ¿cómo la cambiaríamos, guys? Pupusas. Mm -hmm, pupusas. Has been eaten. Ok, o podemos que, eh, dejarle a lot. So, a lot of pupusas. Have or has. ¿Cuál de las dos? Has. Have. Have, porque es plural. A lot of pupusas have been eaten. Ahora sí. Eating. Now I can use this one. Because ahora sí digo que muchas pupusas han sido comidas. Y en realidad el I no lo necesito that much. So, Yuri, eh, no sé si la confundo con esto. I don't know if I confuse you. Uh, no, teacher. I understand. Thank you. Because your sentence está súper bien gramaticalmente. Solo es como lo que entendemos, right? Uh, by that sentence. But that sounds good. The card has been revised. The proposals have been sent. The book has been written. Rafael, very good. Uh, Yuri, the email has been sent. Yes. I have a reservation. Okay, um, I ate pupusas. Ricardo, sounds good, pero eh, las oraciones, I drink juice, I ate pupusas, eh, están bien. 
solo que vamos a tener que combinarlas y hacerlas voz pasiva. So, no son aún okay. voz pasiva. Voz pasiva, eh, Ricardo, significa que I do use es yo lo hago, pero acá no me interesa. Yo lo hago. Uh -huh, pero no quiero saber esto. Yo quiero saber y qué, you know. Uh, ¿Qué yo, hizo? Uh -huh, me interesa esto de acá. ¿Qué fue lo que usted hizo? No quién lo hizo. Entonces, I drink mm. juice se convierte en use. Y ahora use. voy a seguir la right estructura in. de arriba. Have or has. Use. Have. Has. Mm. Has, porque have. es singular. Use eh. has been. Este no me va a cambiar. Y tengo been. drink. El pasado participio de drink, guys. Drink. Drink. Mm, pero el pasado drunk. participio, drunk. Drink, drunk. 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 Juice has been drunk. Ahora sí, I drink juice se enfoca en I, yo me lo tomé. Pero la segunda digo lo mismo, pero me estoy enfocando en el jugo. Because por eso es voz pasiva, right? No me interesa quién, sino me interesa qué. Uh, guys, no sé si este tema es un poco confuso para ustedes. Uh, ¿Cómo lo sienten? How do you feel it? Eh, excelente. Excelente. Easy. Oh, ok. Well, I'm super glad. Si lo sienten fácil, guys, uh, believe me, I'm super glad. I'm super happy to hear that. Because eh, voz pasiva tienes, tiende a ser un poquito complicado for some people. So, but I'm super glad. Uh, si, si lo sienten a little bit easy. And now, vamos solamente a completar un par de ejercicios más y terminamos con esto, guys. So, um, here we have some vocabulary. And, uh, uh, déme un segundo, give me one second. Creo que no les estoy compartiendo. Uh, ven mi pantalla, can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Guys, terminamos con este ejercicio. Intentemos hacerlo juntos, please. Let's try to do it together. So, it says complete the following sentences and questions in the passive voice and complete the appropriate verb. Primero comencemos con los verbos, right? Um, vamos con el pasado participio y luego vamos creando las oraciones. I think that's easier. Iju. ¿Cuál es el pasado participio, guys? What's the past participle? You should. Exactly. So, you should. That's very similar. Uh, innovate. Innovated. Mm -hmm. Innovated. Very good. Make. Made. Yes, perfect. Train. Train. Yes, very nice pronunciation. Okay. Uh, create. Great. Create. Create. Very good. Creative. Give. Gave. Give. Given. Give. Give. Yes, given. Okay, nice. Okay, ya los tenemos. Ahora, let's try to put these verbs into the corresponding uh, sentence. But remember, estamos con presente perfecto. So, presente perfecto, ¿qué incluye? It includes have or has. Plus, then, no se lo puedo quitar porque cambia totalmente. And pass participle. So, necesito tres elementos. Ok. Three new safety measures. Have uh, or has? Have. 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 Ok. Have. Have. Have, have, have been. Have, Esto have. siempre va a ir junto. Remember that. I've been. I've been. Ok. So, have been. Uh -huh. Created. Creative. Oh, okay. Creative. Three safety uh, measures have been created. All right. Next one, guys. We. Has. has. We has or we have? ¿Cuál de las we dos? Have. Have. We have. have. We have. have. Been. Remember that. No se lo quitamos Rain. porque es presente perfecto. Have we have been. Great. Great. Given. Given. given exactly nos han dado we have given very good and next one the new safety goggles are nice they they have have they have, have siempre been, vamos con been uh -huh. they have been, been. given training train made mm, made 
the new uh, safety doubles are nice. They have been made, they have been innovated, they have yeah. been trained, they have been issued. What do you think? Innovative. Innovative. Trained. All right. Okay, tenemos, tenemos muchas posibilidades. Vamos con el number four and then regresamos. The new steel to boot, uh, I'm sorry, boots. The new steel to boots of genuine leather. Uh, so, uh, uh, como been, son boots, been have been, been made. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, very good. So, um, we already used... We use made, we use created, we use given, and we have only those Trainer. left. Okay, number five, guys. Oh, look at this. Number five is equation. ¿Qué uso que preguntas, guys? What do I need in equation? Because equation. Issue, issue. En una pregunta, um, yes. Um, oh. Pero pregunta, question guys, have or has the new safety has. officer? Has. Has. Has, has porque has. solo es uno. Has the new safety officer, ahora sí, been? Been. Trained. Oh, vegan. Vegan. Trained. Very good. Rain. Has Rain. the Rain. new safety officer been trained? ¿Han entrenado al nuevo safety officer? Or si digo, por ejemplo, has the new manager been trained? Has the new employee been trained? Right? Next one. Otra pregunta. We have or has? Have. 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 Perfect. So have we... You should. You should. Oh, you should. pero que me falta? What is missing? Being. Being. Yes. Being. Have we been? You should. Mm -hmm. You should. Issued. Oh, issued the new helmets. Ya nos dieron. Have we been issued the new helmets? So, guys, no se hacía falta la número tres. The new safety goggles are nice. They have been innovated. Very good. Okay, guys. Amazing job. Uh, solamente, guys, uh, recordemos, uh, si es singular, voy a utilizar has. Si es plural, voy a usar have. We have. The boots have. They have. We have. Super buen trabajo. Very nice job. Eh, preguntas, guys? Do you have any question? No. Preguntas, no. dudas, no. Um, no. ¿Alguien ha tenido dificultades con la plataforma en este ejercicio de Passive Voice? No, nobody. Okay. No. Tomar el silencio, como uno. <ríe> el silencio otorga. Okay, guys. Eh, solamente de. Yeah. In that case, guys, solamente hacerles el recordatorio que para el día martes ya debemos haber terminado la plataforma hasta la. Bueno, well, completamente la sección. Eh, número 4, eh, la nota mínima de plataforma es de 80%. So, cualquier nota que tengan arriba del 80% ya es una nota aprobatoria. Eh, de igual forma, por auditorías de Insafor, les agradezco que no faltemos la próxima semana, guys. And, pues solo nos falta lunes y martes. And, and we are done. Y terminamos intermediate number 2. Uh, so, dudas, preguntas, questions, comment, anything, guys, uh, you want to share. Eh, vi por ahí que los compañeros también ya les estaban pidiendo eh, la inscripción, right? Que pudieran avanzar un poco con la inscripción. No se les olvide enviar su documentación a tiempo para que puedan hacer la inscripción del próximo módulo sin mayores retrasos, right? Um, anything else, guys? No les debo notas, nothing, right? Yes. I, I don't think I owe you anything. Mm, so, okay. Cualquier cosa, guys, o cualquier dificultad que tengan con la plataforma, let me know. Para que uh, podamos solucionárselas. And ya que estamos en los últimos uh, clases, eh, please tengan cuidado también con su plataforma. Eh, recuerden su contraseña o guárdenla en algún lugar porque si se les bloquea, recordemos que son 24 horas para que se pueda desbloquear. 
Um, okay, guys. So, solamente me ayuden con su camarita un momento and uh, tomo asistencia y ya nos vamos a descansar. So, give me one moment. Give me just a second here. Today is 15th. All right. Eh, Andrea estaba aquí hace un minuto. Belén también. Eh, Carlos, Carlos es... Gracias, Miss. Escuché la voz de Carlos. Delmi. Gracias, Miss. No worries. Espero que llegue a su casa, you know. And sound and safe. Eh, Delmi. Enrique. Present. Francisco. Present. Helen. Francisco nos debe la historia de ayer. Ahora ah. que recuerdo. <laughs> Imelda. <laughs> nos quedó pendiente. En estos dos minutos, sí. Sí, es que ayer. Francisco, cuéntenos. Espérame, solo termino de tomar asistencia. <laughs> Arnoldo, gracias, Miss. Uh, Ricardo, uh -huh. thank you. Kenia. Present. Present. Angelica Present. no está acá, ¿verdad? I'm missing Angelica. Gaby, Gaby se estaba enferma. Eh, Rafael. Present. Gracias. Margarita. Rubén. Present, teacher. Gracias. Yuri. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And Mauricio. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Rubén, ya casi llegamos al minuto. <laughs> ok, uh, Francisco, cuéntenos. Estábamos, ¿de qué estamos hablando yesterday? Uh, I can't remember. Can't recall Accidentes it. en la oficina. Mm -hmm. Cierto. La es cierto, hablamos <laughs> de accidentes <laughs> en la oficina. Cuando se cayó, cuando se machucó los dedos. <laughs> yeah, y Francisco tenía una historia de la silla. So, ¿Cómo era Francisco? <risa> Ay, oh. me, senté, me senté tranquilamente en la silla, ¿verdad? Bueno, se abrió? Y, <risa> ah, no, hombre, se quebró una, 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 una pieza donde va la, 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 la llantita y caigo acostado, pero es que se escuchó como que un sapo había caído. <risa> y, y, y mi compañero solo se queda viendo, riendo y me dijo, se cayó. <risa> No, me, yo me siento por como quiero leer. Pero, no, qué terrible. Teníamos, tenía un cliente y no fue quizás el dolor del golpe, no que la vergüenza. Que era que me estaba matando. No, no, no. Oh, that was like super funny, ¿no? Y creo que todos nos ha pasado más de alguna vez. ¿no? Pero eh, eh, me caí en la casa, pero no en la oficina, yo no sé. So. Esas sillas plásticas pasan a menudo los accidentes. Oh, pues uh, Ricardo, so, pero no. las sillas se abren, ¿verdad? Right? No es que caen. Está más de helada. No, a mí se me quedó helada. una también. No, si sí, a mí me pasó. En la iglesia me pasó eso, que estábamos en una silla bien finita, ¿no? Y yo bien galando allá después, cuando volteo a ver, ya estaba en el suelo. <risa> bueno, <risa> yeah, that, 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 that is part of the show, right? So, that, that was the story, so, ayer, no sé, estábamos hablando de, de accidentes de trabajo y fue, pues, bien divertido, you know, la forma como le estaban contando. Ok, guys, um, guys, tengo un par de minutos para one on one, eh, si alguien tiene tiempo disponible, quiere que revisemos la parte de Passive Boys o de y topic, eh, solamente me comenta please, se puede quedar unos minutos y los demás guys, nos vemos el día lunes, al CEO Monday eh, Ricardo sí, Monday. se quedan unos minutos eh, ah, ok, bien. perfecto super, ok guys enjoy it, ahora sí, bye bye descansen guys have a good one Tengo un segundo, solo cambio de lengua acá. Ahí está. Perfecto, súper, súper bien. Uh, Ricardo, gracias por eh, uh, completar la plataforma. Ya revisé súper bien. Creo que todavía hay un ejercicio que le está dando problemas, right Sí, una pregunta que desde que siempre le pongo yo ahí. ¿no? Uh, si gusta. Está? Si usted lo revisemos, para, lo revisamos Ajá. para que ya le quede súper bien. Solo me dice qué ejercicio es, por favor. El 15, parece. 
Okay. Uh, la sesión no. 15. Yo creo que sí. Pero... Vaya, o, si, o si usted la okay. tiene en la mano, um, you let me know. Ya la busco, pero... Permítame, déjame ver si puedo ingresar también acá. Ya está. ¿La encontró? Ya. Yeah. Ok. Eh, ¿Qué ejercicio es? Quiero ver. Es que una es de respuesta. Una respuesta. Vale. Permítame entrar a su, a su registro. Déjeme ver si puedo mm. verlo acá. En WeCheck It. No voy a poder. No puede. Déjeme sí. ver. Déjeme ver si tengo visibilidad. No estoy segura. Uh -huh. um, ahí está. Ok. Eh, me parece que es la unidad número, la tarea 2. Eso, si gusta, eh, vaya a hacer el ejercicio. Ok, veo que tiene dificultades con la tarea 2, con la tarea 4 y con la tarea... Y con el examen. Si gusta, vamos a la parte 2. Sí. Uh -huh. vale, permítame. Francisco Carlos. Uy, ya lo perdí. Su carto. Okay. Tarea 2. Sí, no, no puedo entrar. Pero sí me parece la tarea 2. Um, just a moment. Permítame, me muestro eh, la tarea 2 y me dice cuál de estos ejercicios es el que les ando, el que todavía no ha logrado completar, porque no puedo ver eh, cuál es el que no ha completado, solo logro ver que sí es la tarea 2. Le voy a presentar mi pantalla. Eh, y usted me va diciendo, o si no, usted me presenta pantalla como sea sí, más. Ahí, ahí me faltan adecuado. puntos ahí para los 100. Eh, el, sí, en la tarea 2 me parece que tiene todavía el 40%. Entonces solamente le voy a pedir que revise eh, la parte final, right, que le demos clic en enviar. Porque puede uh -huh. ser que quizás terminó algún ejercicio, pero lo dejó así. Así, mire. Y no le dio clic en enviar. Entonces, por eso no, no se lo está tomando el, el, el programa. So, de estos, um, uh -huh. hágame el favor de revisar acá. ¿Cuántos puntos le aparecen? ¿En la 214 o en el resto de ellas? A la 214. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cuántos le Pero... aparecen acá? ¿Cuántos puntos le aparecen? En la 214 me aparecen, que bueno, 25, 25. 25, 20 de 20. Quiero ver. Le tendrían que aparecer 20 puntos. 25, 25, pues. Ah, oh, ok. Entonces, en ese caso ya, ya está bien. Eh, uh -huh. ¿Cuál de estas le está marcando una puntuación baja? Si quiere, vamos uno por uno para que podamos revisar. La 2.2, ¿cuánto le aparece acá? ¿Cuántos puntos? Pero, la punto 2 me parece lo mismo, 25. Hágame mm, un favor, ¿es en la computadora? No, oh, teléfono estoy. Mm, es que creo que estamos viendo puntuaciones diferentes. ¿Y, y si le aparece 2.2 aquí? Quiero ver, espérenme, ahorita voy en la, en la que me ha dicho, ¿no? 2.2. Uh -huh. eh, revista que le aparezca acá, sección 2 y luego 2.2. Puede ser que veamos un ejercicio diferente. Veinte, veinte. Ah, ok, veinte, veinte, estamos bien. En la 2.5, ¿cuánto, ¿cuántos puntos le aparecen? En la 2, veinte, veinte. Entonces está bien, qué raro. En la 2.8. Permítame. Uh -huh. Porque me está marcando solo 40 puntos. 
Sí, es cierto. 2.6. Quiero ver. Mm. Veinte, veinte. Mm, no, entonces. ¿Y, y si sí estamos en el de intermedio dos. Estamos en el dos. Qué raro. Vale, permítame, déjame revisar again. ¿Será que fue otro ejercicio en el Direncida One? Bueno, uh, porque a usted si le aparecen dos, le tendría ah, que aparecer mínimo 60%. Una no está contestada, teacher, me fijé. ¿Cuál ejercicio es? Eh, cinco. ¿Dos punto cinco? Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, es que sería de ir revisando nuevamente para ver cuál es el que no le parece. Usted también puede entrar a progreso eh, y cuando esté en progreso a usted le van a aparecer, ya le digo dónde. Uh -huh. Porque usted sí lo puede ver. Um, yo acá no puedo. Ya le muestro. So, um, si usted se va a su progreso, usted puede verlo acá, mire. Bueno, acá no me va a aparecer nada, pero usted uh -huh. puede ir acá donde dice sección 1, unit number 1, y acá usted le va a aparecer cuántos puntos ganó de cada una de las actividades. Eso tiene 0 de 20. Yo tengo 0 porque Ajá. yo no los he completado, right? Eh, entonces, por eso es que no me aparece. Vaya, hoy me aparece 94% ya. 94%. Hágame un favor, ¿le puede tomar uh -huh. captura? ¿Cómo le tomo aquí el teléfono? En, en, tiene un Android o tiene un iPhone. Un Huawei. Un Huawei. Ok, normalmente con los Huawei, eh, la captura es como con, con, estos, con estos dos. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cuántos botones tiene? Vaya, ya copié, pero me voy a hacer un montón. Ok, perfecto. Yo lo recibo acá. Parece un poco extraño que tengamos diferentes. Ahí está. Ok, ahorita. Todavía no me cae. Mm. <ríe> sí, sí, todavía no me ha caído. ¿Lo mandó al grupo o me lo mandó a mí? A chat, a chat, me mandé. Oh, aquí. Uh -huh. Oh, ok. Dice, su ruta de aprendizaje de asistente. Ok, vaya, si se fijan, dice que en la tarea número uno, usted tiene 80 de 100. Significa que quizás uh -huh. algún ejercicio no lo completó. Eh, en, la, en la tarea 2 tiene 60 de 100. Entonces, eh, al parecer, trece, dos ejercicios no ha completado de la tarea 2. La tarea 3 le falta un ejercicio. La tarea 4 sí está completa. Por eso es que como promedio uh -huh. le está marcando 80. Eh, uh -huh. do, pues sí, al parecer tiene como nota final... 94. Ajá, tiene un 94%. Sí, sí, tiene 94%. Pues la verdad que la discreción suya, Ray, right? la puede dejar así. You can leave it like this. O para que practique un poquito más, no estaría eh, de más que revise el ejercicio, la unidad número 2 y la unidad número 3. Uh -huh. Como para que ya le quede a un 100% perfecto, Ray. Right? Pero al parecer sí hay tres de ejercicios. Que pasamos. Sí, I mean, pero. Ya pasamos. La parte es así y de hecho eh, no me he faltado. Creo que solo un día me faltó porque estaba mal de salud. Por cierto, ¿cómo está? ¿Ya está mejor? ¿Ya se siente Ahí, mejor? Sí, convaleciente todavía. Convaleciente oh. porque no podía pronunciar nada. Sí, pero gracias a Dios y a las oraciones he estado. 
Gracias a Dios. Pero ya está, está en tratamiento. Sí, ya ah, permanente. No, primero Dios que no, no le vuelva a suceder, right? Pero nice, me alegra escucharlo entonces. Bueno, eh, gracias. So, revisemos otra vez como los ejercicios de la unidad número dos y cualquier duda me avisa o si no le tomo uh -huh. el porcentaje me avisa porque a veces es cuestión de plataforma, right? Eh, so, bueno. Gracias por su tiempo, Ricardo. Thank you gracias, so much. Nos vemos el lunes. Que descanse. Good night. Gracias. Bye. See ya. Good night. Good night.